What's going on everybody today we're going to be doing the offspring come out and play we're going to be covering those two main riffs that i played right now so go ahead and grab your acoustic or your electric and let's get started okay guys so this is the hardest part to get down is your right hand it's always going to be your strumming hand for this first section is the weirdest thing because it has a lot of movements on the left but if you can line up your right hand with the strumming and using a metronome, that will help a lot. We'll turn on a metronome in a moment and go from there. So I'm going to turn off that distortion. Let's learn these power chords real quick before we throw the right hand in. So power chord, we're going to start on fret 7, 6 string power chord. So 7, 2 frets up, 1 string up is where your pink ring goes, and then your pinky under. So it's going to go down, up. Okay, now... Hard part is people, when you mute, they tend to bring their hands out like this to mute. You don't want to do that. Instead, you're going to take the pressure off the strings and mute by putting your middle finger on there and relaxing your whole hand like this. So pressing, pressing down, not pressing, muting. So it's going to go down, up, mute. Again. Down, up, mute. Now, the next strum is going to be an up. This is where we get this strumming thing going, where you're always going up and down, but we'll worry about that in a bit. Next power chord is going to be string five, fret five. Two frets up, ring finger on one string up, pinky right under. So string five, four, and three. That's an up. So coming from the beginning, down, up, mute. Move over up now when you play up you don't hit any of the other strings besides five four and three and then you're going to do another mute here notice with this mute same thing i just put my middle finger down and i take the pressure off the strings but i don't blanket them as one i keep these here as the mold why the mold because this is what the whole riff is about is this power chord mold so why are you going to take it away and just make it harder to get back to it so when i do this down up mute up on the five mute only add the middle finger watch again that right there is the halfway point i want you to work on that and when we do this with the metronome we're going to do it up to that point first so down up mute mute now, the right hand is technically just doing this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, over and over and over. But it's just trying to keep this other hand in line with that rhythm. So if you need to, you need to slow down like this. Watch. Down, up, down, up, down. See how I counted that out? A lot of people think it's the left hand that you need to worry about. But once you get the coordination on the left, it's really just keeping your right hand in sync. One more time before we move on. And don't worry about playing with this part. I'm going to do it at the end, okay? So now we're here. Last part is a jump to fret two. Fret two, string six. And that's an up. So let's put it from the beginning. Fret two, power chord, I should say, string six, five, and four. So. Make sure you're doing up there. And you don't have to bring your hand all the way up, obviously. But up right there. And then you're going to do a jump to fret five, string six. For a down. And that's the ending of the riff, okay? So you're adding an up on two. Down on five. So when putting that all together. Now, if you can't do it that fast, it's not a big deal. You can always slow the video down through YouTube and the settings. Or, once again, I'm going to do this with the metronome, but let's do it one more time. Now that we're there, 
It's just looping it over and over and over. But before you even get there, you want to at least get to this ending where it feels nice and even and then come in on your next down. Let's focus now on our right hand. Notice how I'm not even going to say anything, but notice how it's just doing this. Even when I come back to the first note of the beginning, I'm still keeping my hand in motion even though I don't hit the note to come back to the beginning from here, watch. And that's because this is what's gonna be keeping everything in sync. So let's go ahead and now turn on a metronome. Okay, everyone, so now I'm gonna use a metronome. I'm using it off Google. I just typed in metronome on the search bar. I put it at 50 and I'm only gonna worry about getting to the halfway point for the first time I go through. And if you really realize this whole rhythm falls on a click on the downbeat. So I'm gonna do this. One, two, three, four, and. Notice I stop on that mute. And I know I kind of lost many more of a blanket, but don't worry about that. Try to keep the mute where you're just adding the thumb, or I'm sorry, the ring finger, the middle finger. What am I talking about? So here we go. One, two, three, four and again one two three four and now if you can get that far i'm going to get to the next downbeat which is actually at the ending here here we go one two three four and Notice how they're all lining up. It's gonna be one in the beginning, one here, and then when you get to the ending. One, two, listen to that metronome. Three, four, and. Now I stopped at the beginning of the second time. Okay, and I make sure I stay on that metronome. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four, and. There's your beginning. Now, let's take it to the halfway point of the second time around. One, two, three, four, and. Beginning. So if you really watch my right hand, it's just doing this. Here we go. One, I'm gonna do two times. Two, three, four, and. Again. Good. Now, if that feels good and comfortable, if you broke it up the way I did, rewatch it, bring it to two, play along with that. If your metronome's at 50, put it to 60, put it to 70. But as long as you're keeping that sync of how you're doing it, that's what's most important. Now, if at any point you're starting to break and, and lose control of anything, slow it back down. If anything, rewatch and replay with me as well. Okay, for the second half of this video, we're gonna cover this. Now, I'm not gonna cover all the riffs of this song. I'm only covering the two most important. Now, the way this one's gonna work is it's gonna be starting, if my first finger's on fret one, all those strings are covered by that. Fret two is all middle finger. Fret three is all the third. Now, this riff starts on middle finger string five fret two so i'm going to pluck it there and i'm going to hammer on to fret three of the same string so fifth string you're going to pluck it and what is a hammer on is when you pluck you're going to take your third finger and you're going to press and transfer the note and the sound to the third finger of the third fret of the fifth string so it's going to go like this pluck middle finger fret two then you this hand doesn't do anything but you hammer on so it's like this pluck again and you don't have to take your hand away obviously but just keep it here when you pluck that okay so now once you get that we're gonna go to fret one of string four and pluck there so first three notes pluck hammer on fret one string four is the next note on that so now Fret two, string four, we pluck. Put that together. 
From there, now we're going to pluck again fret 2 and slide to fret 4 of the 4th string. Let me give you that from the beginning. So notice that you're going to take that energy that you had the first pluck. Pluck again. And slide up to fret 4 of string 4. Let's try that again. Now, you're going to take that note that you're holding and bring it back to 2. So you're going to go slide to 4, pluck back on 2. One more time. And now we're going to walk it back down. Fret 1, string 4, finger 1. 3. So it's the same way we went up, the way we went down. Let me put that all together. That is most important. Now there's a couple notes missing, but walk it up, walk it down, walk it up, walk it down. And you want to work on making that all sound nice and even the way I'm playing it. Playing it, and also you want to make sure it's nice and connected. So when you're playing it, and picking wise, you could do whatever you want, but I'm doing alternate. Now, when you speed it up, that's why. It's nice and connected. Now, we have a couple more notes, so when we do this, pluck, pluck. So I'm now going to be plucking two, three, two at the end. So all the way up, pluck, 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 pluck. And I, I, that sounds a little weird. So let's run it up. That's why I told you to stop. Now you're going to pluck two, three, two again. So we're adding a two, three, three, two at the end. Two, three, two. So first half. Two, three, two. Those are the three notes you're missing. And I'm on string five. Two, three, two. String five. And that's the whole thing. So putting that together, nice and even. If this is the part you want to play along, you can. I'm going to do this at a slow speed, a medium speed, and then a faster speed. So here's the slow speed. One, two, three, four. Again. Now, if you can't play with me, that's fine. Slow the video down on the settings like I've talked about. Or turn it off and play it on your own until you can play it and grasp that at that speed. Here's a medium. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And fast. I'm going to do it twice fast and I'm going to leave you with that. One, two, three, four. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as always. And if you're looking for a guitar instructor, my name is Daniel Treviso. You can reach me at mountainsideguitar.com. I teach theory, solos, scales, everything you can imagine with guitar related things. And I am also a piano teacher now. So if you need piano lessons online or anything like that, reach out to me at Mountain Side Guitar. As always, it's good to see you guys, and I'll catch you on the next guitar lesson.